Microsoft's management console is just so great. You can add all these little snap-ins, create your perfect little admin profile, and just anytime you need it, pop it up and quickly access all the different things you need. But you know what the best part of MMC is? That sweet arbitrary code execution, baby. <laughs> Wait, what? On June 21st, 2024, Elastic Research released uh, a blog post talking about a new uh, attack technique that they came across. They dubbed it Grim Resource, and it basically it leverages MSC files to execute arbitrary code in MMC. And this is a pretty interesting one. Um, we have a summary in our platform, but if we dive into the actual blog, uh, we can see that it's taking advantage of a uh, known, I guess it's been known for a while, um, XSS flaw in APDS.dll library. Uh, and so this is pretty interesting because it's going through and just having a malicious, a maliciously crafted MSC file, you can uh, trick it into essentially executing arbitrary code on a system. And there's a good, a good write-up here. I won't get too deep into the technical details again. Like I always say, this is more so about detection than about how to actually do the attack. So, but we do have an attack script I'll touch on later. If you want to run this in a lab or do your own kind of log exploration, you can do that. Or we have a threat session we'll go over that you can look at as well. Uh, but if we go down, they'll have some detections in here that are interesting uh, surrounding this. And they're all written based on their Elastic Agent. So what we did is we kind of went through, created a threat session on this to get logs and generated some detections using Sysmon and Windows logs um, to be accessible to people who aren't using uh, Elastic uh, Agents in their environment. So really interesting read. Uh, I highly recommend reading through this to learn a lot. Lots of interesting details about the actual attack chain and we'll touch on some of them as we talk about the detections. Um, so first off, we have this uh, threat session we created. And if we go down, we can quickly pop through this video here of the actual attack. And it's pretty uneventful. You execute uh, this M MSC file and it popped calc. You give a notification, then pop calc. Uh, so not very exciting to watch, but um, the more interesting piece here is when you dive into the logs and detections. So there's a couple different areas we'll touch on. One is when APDS is actually doing that XSS redirection, it creates a file. Uh, and that file it is creating will have inet cache and redirect in the, the path. So we can actually go down here to the log and you'll see the target file name is gonna look just like this, right? It's gonna always have the inet cache and redirect um, and so having a simple detection like this, right, looking for a process name of MM mmc.exe, looking for that um, uh, uh, file path that matches kind of these patterns, uh, it's pretty likely that there's some sort of uh, suspicious activity happening there. Uh, the next one we'll jump into, MMC again for that APDS.dll. If you enable audit logging or object access logging, uh, you can use event ID 4663 to detect MMC accessing uh, the APDS DLL. Um, and then the access list, we talked about this in another video, but that's basically telling it that it has that read access, the access needed to, to utilize the DLL there. So this is another simple rule, pretty interesting though, and it picks up the activity as you can see here in this log. The Next one we have here is the MMC loading VB script. And so they actually talk about this in the blog. So as we can see here, there's several items like JScript, uh, some of these DLLs uh, that can that are sometimes loaded, um, but much less likely VB script or if at all, right? So this is something that's gonna be more suspicious um, seeing v, VB script being loaded. Uh, by MMC so that if we go back to this detection, we can see, let's see, 
So we can see here, it's just image loaded as the VB script ELL. Uh, and then that image is mmc.exe. So this one is picking up when MMC is actually trying to utilize that VB script during the attack chain, uh, which helps us kind of gain some insights here and, and continue following along that exploit path. Uh, the next one is going to be suspicious, suspicious child of MMC. And this one, this one's pretty interesting. And this was, most of this was kind of taken and repurposed from their uh, blog here. But basically it's saying, looking for that parent image of MS or MMC.exe and the parent can, command line contains .msc. So we know it's, it's, you know, an MSC file has been executed and it's excluding a lot of things that are legitimate, right? We don't want to see process path ending with these. We don't want to see um, process paths with any of these things here, right? So it's kind of filtering out the noise that's going to happen normally um, so that we're not coming across lots of false positives. Because obviously, right, MMC is, <laughs> if in an admin, an environment with admins, right, it's going to be, it's probably going to create some noise here. So this kind of filters out the noise, and then you can see in this specific type of attack chain, we can see that parent image of MMC with the parent command line showing this execution of the Groom resource MSC file. And that's coming from a desktop location, right? It's like not necessarily uncommon, but at least you're seeing non, non-common or custom MS, MSV files, MSC files being uh, executed here. So this is something that's good that you can keep an eye on. And it's good to, if you get alerted on this, right, check like, what is it executing? Hmm, that's funny. It's running calc.exe. Like, that's, that's weird. Um, but obviously, there would probably be something a little bit more malicious that you could go in there and investigate and see what, what it was actually doing in the environment. Lastly, we'll touch on, we have an attack script. Uh, this attack script is we go off basically atomic red team style attack scripts that you can execute in your environment if you have a lab and you wanna get this, this log data yourself, or if you have a place in your environment set up to test detections and you wanna run this and see if your detections trigger. Uh, this is basically the one we used in our threat session. It's just gonna pop a calc, so it's not malicious. You don't have to worry about anything getting actually uh, <laughs> breached or any malicious things happening. But this will give you a good idea of if, if your environment, the logging is configured correctly for the detections, if the field mapping and everything line up. So this can be helpful when you just want to verify that, yes, the things I deployed to my environment are actually working um, and you, you're feeling a little bit more protected and, you know, uh, be ensured that you're covered. Thanks for watching another Threat Snapshot. If you enjoyed it, subscribe, click the bell for notifications, like it. Uh, let us know if you have any questions in the comments and uh, if you have anything you're interested in hearing more about in future videos. We always appreciate you uh, coming and watching this. So thank you. See you later.